joint variation. Joint variation is going to throw in an extra variable. Z varies jointly with X and Y if there is some constant K such that Z equals K times X times Y. It is important to note the order of the letters. Since it says Z varies, that's why we write Z equals. If it had said Y varies, we would have written Y equals. If it had said X varies, we would have written X equals. Please pay careful attention to the order of the letters. Example three, find z when x equals six and y equals eight if z varies jointly with x and y and z equals 36 when x equals four and y equals three. We're gonna do this problem just like we did the last two. We're gonna identify the three important parts of the problem and put boxes around them. We're gonna start in the middle as that identifies what type of problem we're gonna do then we're going to fill in our givens and finally answer the question. Step one, z varies jointly with x and y, means we write the formula z equals k times x times y. Step two, fill in our given information. z equals 36, k times x equals 4, and y equals 3. Simplify a bit, 36 equals k times 12. Divide by 12, and we would get k equals 3. Let's write an equation relating all of our variables now. z equals 3 times x times y. Last step, let's answer the question that was given at the beginning of the problem. Find z when x equals 6 and y equals 8. z equals three times x equals six and y equals eight. Simplifying three times six times eight, we get that z equals 144. Let's circle our answer of z 144 and also the equation relating the variables. Now, please complete the three practice problems at the beginning of the paper and check your answers in the front when you are finished.